Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. Ahlan wa sahlan. Marhaban. Welcome to this series. My name is Dakar Zaman. This is my YouTube channel. Check out the videos that I make. We're going through the hadith or the 40 hadith of Mullah Ali Qali here. Right, so um, if you guys are not familiar with my channel, please check out the different types of videos I make. I make videos on learning how to how to understand Arabic, um, Quran, Hadith, Fiqh, all sorts of things. Inshallah, you will find beneficial. Right, next Hadith. Bismillah ar-Rahman ar-Rahim. Allahumma salli wa sallim wa barik ala Sayyidina Muhammad wa ala alihi wa sahbihi ajma'in. Qaflatun ka ghazwatin. Returning from the uh, returning from a battle is like going into battle. Abdullah bin Umar radiallahu ta'ala anhu said, the Messenger of Allah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam said, returning from the Baal is like going into Baal. Narrated by Imam Ahmad. Okay, so this is the hadith. And this hadith is again a very important hadith for us to understand as we've discussed previously about um, you know, things like military, military warfare and... This book doesn't seem to want to hold there right now. It has, alhamdulillah, with your du'as. Right, so um, now, as you guys know, um, when it comes to military, the military aspect of any society is considered to be one of the most important aspects, one of the most important areas of that society. So any country around the world will definitely have an army. Why do they need the army for? So imagine this is this is like the UK. Oops. So this is the UK. And in the UK, we obviously have other countries, and there's a threat, as a continuous threat that someone may attack the country. So what happens here? Basically, the in order for, for this country to be protected, it needs to have an army. And this army needs to have weapons and it needs to have strategy strategy and it needs to have soldiers and it needs to have training and all sorts of other things right so every single army needs these kind of things now in the past normally when armies would fight what would happen is armies would be like two so sort of like groups large groups that would meet in a battlefield and they would fight with each other until one gave up or the other was defeated right so this is how it was in the olden days and nowadays we have you know all these kind of like new technology weapons missiles long distance uh, um, wars all right so this is something that happens so in the time of the prophet sallallahu uh, the armies fighting was basically hand to hand and maybe arrows and spears they used to use. So the Prophet ﷺ and the Quran even tells people that they are not allowed to turn away from battle. Right? So no one is allowed to turn their backs. So turning your back was prohibited. And the Quran clearly mentions this. Right? The person who turns their back gets the wrath of Allah. You get the wrath of Allah for turning your back because the army is considered to be the only measures of protection of that society. Now, if your army soldiers are running away, then what's going to happen is people are going to lose their security and the place can be attacked very very easily so the prophet saw the quran actually mentions the wrath of allah this is a very serious thing but there are exceptions for this so what are the exceptions for this so exceptions for this is is if there is this is if this is a strategy this is a uh, tactic let's call it a tactic any sort of tactic which requires maybe turning your back or maybe turning away or maybe running away but inevitably it's going to lead to victory this tactic is recommended by the quran and by the prophet right so any tactic which is going to help the muslims or long run, in the long run that turning of the back will not be considered to be that which brings the wrath of allah so if for example like just like you might see this in in, in football or some other matches when sometimes what happens is the this is the army and the army sees the enemy right here's the enemy so what happens is 
the army decides, right, what we're going to do is we're going to run, make them chase us, and then what we'll do is quickly just turn around on them and we'll, and we'll surround them and attack them, right? So this was known as the Kar and Far, yeah? So the return and attack, or return and strike. This is one of the tactics. So going back to this hadith then, Qaflatun Ghazwatin, one of the meanings of this hadith is that the returning from a battle is like being in a battle. In other words, this technique that's adopted in the battle, where you run back for defensive purposes or, so, or to um, in tactical purposes, this is considered to be totally permissible. This is one interpretation of this hadith. Another interpretation of this hadith now. Another interpretation of this hadith is many of the companions will travel for long durations. Yeah, so a long journey. So for example, like let's say for example they're traveling the journey. So here is the location. This is the location. And this journey, let's say, takes one month. So we know the high rewards of a person you know, in the battlefield. Extremely high rewards they get over there. But what about all of this? distance that one month so they might be in the battle for let's say for a few days let's say five days five days in the battle they get reward for this five days but what about all this entire month going there and then coming even coming back Go going there and coming back so the prophet sallallahu said even the return the return from a battle is also like being in a battle so if the return is like being in a battle for five days you're there for five days you get reward for five days Returning from a battle one month, so one month and five days you get the reward, and then even that would also logically mean that going towards the battle would also gain you reward. So two months and five days of reward, as though you are in the path of Allah. Anything happens to you, you are considered to be uh, in the path of Allah Subhanahu wa Taala. So this was motivation for the for the Sahaba, and this concept can also be applied to other things in our life. Going towards the mosque, so you have a mosque in your community, it takes you long to go to your to your mosque, going to the mosque, returning from the mosque, you, you get a reward for every single step that you take. And every single you know um, step that you take to learn knowledge, you travel to the madrasa or to the university or wherever to learn knowledge, every step that you take and every returning, you get reward for this. So in other words, Islam does not leave us without getting reward for our purposes. Ultimate aim, the ultimate objective is uh, to gain closeness to Allah So therefore even the means to get to that Is something which is rewarded by Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala So these are two general meanings That scholars have mentioned um, About this um, And there are a few other meanings But these are the two meanings that I'll stick to over here Okay so what did we learn today then So today's lesson we learned about the importance Of military having a strong Military force in any country any society Especially when it comes to the Sahaba radiallahu and the Prophet sallallahu alaihi wasallam to protect their, their their property, to protect their religion, to protect their rights, and usually battles were hand to hand battles. And the Quran mentions the, the severity of turning your back in battle, and the wrath of Allah is attached to that, unless it's done for some tactical measures. In which case, a person does not get sin. In fact, this may even be rewarding for the person. So qaflatun kaghazwatin. So returning with this with this intention of Using this as a ploy to attack the enemy and defeat them is actually something very highly commendable. And the other meaning is that the journey back from the battle is as rewarding as being in the battle. Kaflatun kaghazwatin. And the word kafla uh, is a word in the Arabic language for those of you guys who like Arabic. It's on the wazen of fa'latun. And fa'latun, it simply means a sure, like one, one, like one, you know, uh, individual part of it. So qafala means to return. So qaflatun means one returning, like one second of returning is like being in a battle. So if you are 10 seconds in returning, it's like being 10 seconds in a battle. And if it's one month returning, it's like being one month in a battle. Right? So subhanAllah, this amazing reward that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala gives to people simply because of their intentions, simply because of the greater purpose of what they are actually going for. Zakumullah khair guys, thank you very much for watching this video again and um, a really big shout out to all my patrons for all the support you guys show. May Allah reward you immensely in this dunya and the akhirah. Any of you guys want to support my channel and uh, you know, help me with my projects that I do like this project and other projects I'm doing, then please check out the description below. There's a link there for Patreon and for PayPal as well. Um, thank you very much. Take care inshallah and hope you have a wonderful Ramadan. Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh.